Hello guys, welcome back. In our previous video, we have seen an informal introduction to an algorithm and we have also seen various applications of an algorithm. In this particular video, now we are going to formally define an algorithm and we are going to see various characteristics of an algorithm. So let us start. Now an algorithm is a finite sequence of unambiguous instructions for solving a given problem, that is, for finding the output for all legal inputs that is provided. Let us try to understand this definition in details. Whenever we talk about algorithm, the first thing that should, do, that should come in your mind is it's a set of instructions, it's a collection of instructions, that is, it's a sequence of instructions, right? But this, it should have a finite sequence of instructions, right? So your algorithm should have finite set of steps. So the algorithm should halt after some time. It should not go for infinite amount of time. So the first property of an algorithm is finiteness. So that is it should stop after some finite amount of time, right? So it is finite amount of time to stop, right? Now it's a, fi it's a finite sequence of unambiguous instruction, right? So what is the meaning of unambiguous instruction is your, the instruction that you are providing in an algorithm should be clear, it should be precise, it should be to the point, right? The, the instruction that you are providing should not have more than one meaning. Each instruction should do a specific task and it should have a specific meaning. It should not derive more than one meaning, right? So it should be clear, it should have no ambiguity, right? So this property is called as definiteness, right? Each and every instruction should be definite. Right? Like for example, I can't say like this, add, add x to 5 or maybe do x minus 2. Now computer will be confused, suppose this is an instruction number 1. Right? Now computer will be confused whether to add x to 5 or to do x minus 2. So this kind of instructions are ambiguous. Right? But if you are writing an algorithm, instructions should be very much clear okay so that is that is ambiguous unambiguous instruction also called as definiteness now you all of them should obviously solve a problem that's that means it should give the correct output right it should correctly solve your problem it should not solve some other problem right it should solve the problem that you have specified okay so all of them should solve the given problem Right, so that that is the next property that is correctness. Your algorithm should be correctly solving the problem. For all valid input, your algorithm should give the correct output and then stop. Yeah, right? your algorithm should terminate after giving the correct output for all legal inputs. Right, so that is a very important property of correctness. Your algorithm should be it should be correct. Otherwise, there's no point, isn't it? So this is. Uh, third property correctness right moving on right that is you know for obtaining a required output right your algorithm should have output right the fourth property is it should have an output right all of them should because finally you are trying to find out something right so your algorithm should do something and then give you back the output right so it should have an output all of them should have should have the output okay for output for any legitimate input now it may not give the output for all sort of inputs like like for example if you are doing sorting on a list of numbers your sorting algorithm may not work on uh, uh, what do you say on list of uh, names because you have, you have defined it to work on list of numbers right so your your algorithm should have should specify what is the input range that it will work on Right, so that is called as legitimate input or the valid input. Your algorithm would work only for the valid set of inputs, right? So this is valid inputs. So for all valid inputs, it should give you the correct output. Okay, so all algorithms should have input. Okay, like input is optional, right? It may have zero input as well, right? So sometimes you write write a function, right? In a function sometimes you give no argument in a function isn't it so you may have a, 
uh, have a, have an algorithm without any input as well okay but output is necessary and when we are talking about input make sure that the input is valid right and it's it's within the range that you have specified all right so this is the, the next property and we have one more property called as effectiveness right so effectiveness is you know practically when we are talking uh, talking about instructions you should be able to practically do or solve you should be able to solve that instructions yourselves using pen and paper right so what we are doing should, should, should be doable whatever we have specified should be achievable should be feasible right so whatever you are you have specified should be effective should be feasible it should not be very abstract which can't be solved at all it should be feasible right it should be feasible to solve so therefore each and every instruction should be effective so these are these these are the six properties that all algorithms should satisfy okay if all algorithms satisfy these six properties then we say that that's an algorithm okay now uh, i'll just give you a brief description about the difference between a recipe and an algorithm right so let's talk a different recipe okay now you have seen a recipe right online you get a lot of recipes right now suppose you are asked to prepare a cup of tea right you'll get a recipe for a cup of tea right so the recipe for a cup of tea may look, may sound something like this it may say that you know take a pot right add some water or add one cup of water boil it for some time after that add some sugar right and then you know add tea leaves and then add milk whatever add ginger powder whatever you want right so the, it is also a set of instructions but it is it does not qualify to become a algorithm because when i say add some water right now it varies from person to person what what is the meaning of some water it says add some water now for me for me some water may be one liter for you it may be three liters right if it says add one cup of water now you may have a very big cup which 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 will take around one liter of water i may have a cup which will take half a liter of water so it's an it's an unambiguous it's ambiguous instructions right it does not qualify to be uh, it doesn't qualify this property definiteness therefore we can't say that recipe recipe is not an algorithm right because it does not qualify our definiteness maybe it's correct finally maybe you'll get a t it's fine but it, it didn't qualify this definiteness property because the instruction that they're giving is not clear right yeah. suppose you want to make a tea vending machine right a machine which which, which will like nescafe has a tea vending machine right you would like to make prepare a tea tea vending machine you want to build a tea vending machine right so if you want to build a tea vending machine you can't give a recipe to a tea vending machine you have to give an algorithm because that's a machine right yeah. so for that in that scenario instead of writing some water maybe you can say add uh, 500 milliliter of water now it becomes clear now it's perfect 500 milliliter of water is universally everyone knows how much is 5 500 milliliter of water right so if you want to design or if you want to build a tea vending machine your instructions should be precise right it will not work with recipe recipe works well with human beings because we are intelligent right we are intelligent we know like what is the meaning of some water right so for us it's fine but for machines machines are not that intelligent right they're dumb so we need we are giving instructions so that we are making them intelligent right so instructions that we are giving to a machine should be clear precise right it should be correct it should be it should be definite it should be should a finite sequence of steps right so all these properties should be satisfied by any given algorithm right so this, this is this is it in this particular lecture right in the next uh, lecture we are going to find out the steps right steps or the process of actually solving a problem right so that's a, that would be a very interesting lecture so see you in the next lecture thank you